Hey what's up guys I'm Matt here and today I have a gift for the people with small wrist. In this video we are going to review the HD12 smartwatch which comes with an AMOLED display, a 40mm dial and multiple color options. Before we start if you're new here a subscribe to the channel will be highly appreciated. So let's get right into it and find out everything in the HD12 smartwatch. So first of all here is the box, first of all we get the user manual inside it, after that we have the HD12 smartwatch and in the end we have the magnetic charger inside it. The smartwatch is available in 4 colors, we have the black color, then we have the silver color with green straps and in the end we have golden color with a combination of pink and purple. For today's video I have the black color and the purple color, the black color looks great for everyone while the purple color looks great for the ladies. It comes with 1.75 inches AMOLED display and I've confirmed in the darkness that it is using a true AMOLED display as it doesn't emit light in the dark. The screen resolution is 390 into 450 and overall the resolution and the color vibrancy and smoothness everything is great. When it comes in a shiny frame, the body dimensions are 40 into 35 into 9.9 millimeters. We only have one key on the body, it can be used to access the menu and it can also be used as a back key. If you look at the back side, we have the magnetic charging points and the health sensors here and here it is using 20 millimeter straps and you can easily remove the straps using this pin and just like this you can use any 20 millimeter straps with it and here's how both of the colors look on the wrist which one would you go for let me know in the comment section below after that here on the body we have the microphone while on this side we have the speaker it is using bt89590 t5 chip inside it overall the chip performance is quite good the bluetooth version is set to be 5.3 and it is set to be ip68 level live waterproof and i would not recommend you to use it directly in water while it can be used normally while washing hands or in rainy days now let's take a look at all all of the languages supported by it. So these were all of the languages supported by it. Now let's take a look at all of the word faces. These were all of the built-in watch faces. Other than these watch faces, you can also install a watch face from the dial market as well as from the gallery. For that, you can use the FitCloud Pro application and go to the watch face section. It comes with a lot of watch faces inside it and all of them are available for totally free. If you want to use your own picture from the gallery, you can scroll all the way up and go to this watch face. Here you can choose your own picture from the gallery and after that you can customize the position of the clock. It does not have any other customization options. This flower watch face is also themed but the watch faces are not interactive if you go to settings and here scroll down to set time you can also use 24 hours clock format on it you can also set the time as well as the date on it and if you talk about the screen time it can be a maximum of 30 seconds and after 30 seconds of inactivity the display will turn off it also comes with screen of dial options for that you can go to display and scroll down to aod clock we have two screen of dials one with the pointer clock and the other with the digital clock the screen of dial can stay on forever until the battery dies it also comes with the race to wake option to turn on the display the smartphone also comes with dynamic island which will enable this dynamic island on top for the notifications. You can also add a passcode in the smartwatch. And if you talk about the menu styles, it comes with 4 menu styles. We have this 9 grid view. You can double click the side key to change the menu style. Then we have this menu style. After that we get the circular menu style. And in the end we have the list view. And now let's talk about the watch application. It is using the Fit Cloud Pro application. We get wallet and business card option in it by which you can store the QR codes of your social applications or your payment profile and after that you can access those applications and anyone can scan that QR code to directly pay you or access your social profile. Then we have the notifications and here we have the more reminders option which means it can send you the notifications for almost all of the applications on your smartphone. When you receive a new notification it vibrates and turns on the display with a banner prompt. Here is how the notification center looks like. If you talk about the longer notifications it does not support scrolling and it also does not support emojis. You can also turn on the do not disturb mode then the notifications will be silent added in the notification center and they won't turn on the display or show the banner prompt. After that we also have the call notifications here and not just notifications you can also turn on call audio from here then you can use the smartwatch for bluetooth calling and you can call any number directly from here and you can also receive calls directly on it it rings as well as vibrates on the incoming call and also shows the name of the caller. You can silent the incoming call from here and accept it from here. After that we have the option to transfer the call to the smartphone and back to the smartwatch from here you can mute the call from here here and adjust the volume level from here and in the end you can hang up the call from here using bluetooth calling you can also use voice assistant directly on it how's the weather today
and the voice assistant is working absolutely fine. After that here in Bluetooth calling we also have the media audio option. If it is turned on then you can control the media playing on the device and the sound will be shifted to the smartphones. But if you turn it off then even with Bluetooth calling turned on you can control the media playing on the device and the sound will continue to play on the smartphone or any other Bluetooth earphones you are using. After that we have a few reminders. You can also add more sport modes inside it. After that you can also push weather updates to the smartwatch and it only shows the weather right now. We also have automatic health monitoring here. Here we have the find the smartwatch option and in the control center we also have the find phone option. You can also sync your favorite contacts in the smartwatch and we also have the shake to take a photo option and you can also tap on the display to click a picture using it. And in the end if you go to the me section you can also connect it with WeChat sports as well as Apple health. You can also set up your profile and set up your goal here. You can also change the unit preference from here and the health tab shows you all of your health data. If you use the Apple shortcuts application, I can confirm that the smartwatch can be used as an NFC tag. And now it is time to talk about the rest of the applications. So first of all, we have the data application here. And as far as I've checked, the pedometer does work fine. Here you can see that the day before yesterday, it noted 202 steps and today it has noted 32 steps. After that, we have workout modes here and you can tap on either of them to directly start it. Workout Decode stores all of your workout data. Then we have heart rate, blood oxygen and blood pressure level checker. So let's check the wear detection. Here you can see that it has given the error which means that it has wear detection. And the sensors will only continue to work when it detects your fingers at the back. And in a few seconds it will start to show the values. After that we have the sleep tracker here. And as far as I've checked the sleep tracker also worked fine. I checked it last night and here you can see that it has noted 7 hours and 55 minutes of sleep. Then we have beat training. We only have 2 time options here. And you can tap here to directly start it and after that it will start to work when we have stopwatch you can tap here to start it and tap here to add laps we cannot go back while using the stopwatch after ending you can tap here to take a look at all of the laps in the timer application we have some predefined times and you can scroll all the way down to set time according to your need let's set it for one second and when the timer ends it only vibrates once it does not ring we cannot add alarms directly from the smartwatch to add alarms you will have to use the application so let's set an alarm and let's wait for it and here's how the alarm is shown it only vibrates it does not ring and we only have the close option here after that we have the calendar application you can also access the application to take a look at the upcoming as well as the previous months and in the end we have the calculator application with the basic functionalities like multiplication, division, subtraction and addition. And these were all of the applications in the HD12 smartwatch. In the end, it is advertised to come with a battery capacity of 380 mAh and it can be charged using the magnetic charger provided in the box. I've been observing this smartwatch for about 3 days now and it is still sitting at 30%. So in my opinion, it can easily give you 4-5 to five days of battery life on normal usage and even with the screen of dial turned on. So guys this was all from today's video and from the HD12 smartwatch in my opinion it's a perfect smartwatch for anyone looking to buy it. It comes with an AMOLED display, a small 40mm dial and always on display option and it also has health sensors as well as weight detection and as far as I've checked the sleep tracker also worked fine. If you would like to place an order I'm gonna be leaving its link in the description box below and I would really appreciate if you can use that link to purchase the smartwatch. You can also visit the channel for more videos like this. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. I will catch you in the next one. Until next time, this is iMat. Peace.